what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel as you can see we in the garage and i'm sweating buckshot so today what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be watching the hellcat in my pontiac ga gt and yes we're gonna be doing the water tank setup hopefully i have i haven't even tested it yet in the ga i have it all hooked up i'll show y'all in a little bit i'll tell you and uh, stay tuned y'all make y'all watch this video all the way through it's gonna be kind of long but stay tuned i'll tell y'all why i decided to go ahead and put the water tank in there this is the only car i'm gonna do um, with the water tank set up in the G8. After this, I'm not doing any more exteriors unless I hook up to that customer's water because that's just a little bit too much weight for me. Um, and plus, if your G8 is not lowered, then you're good. But listen, I've always been the person to say, hey, you can start this without using other people's water. Um, you can do this without uh, having this or having this. Uh, so this is not one of those cases. So I had two, I actually had two interiors and exteriors today, two civil, the civil package that I offer um, on like sedan and an SUV that was the same size as a sedan. So I had two like that today. I actually canceled the first one today because I just didn't feel like it was worth going, to be honest with you, with the water tank. And um, I have some problems with the GA2 now. It is just to show you that this is possible. If you really, really want, want something to work, this is possible. So I have everything inside the, the G8 right now. Um, and basically what you're going to want to do is once you do so many cars, you know exactly what you need. There's some things you bring that you don't really need. So now I, I know exactly what I need to bring with me to get the job done. Um, and it's all packed in the G8 right now. Now it is super, super, super unorganized and messy because obviously I don't, I ain't got the time to really, um, to really organize everything, but I got everything inside there. So. Um, the only thing left is to grab my bag right here, which is on the side with my little tools and stuff. And then I'm good. I'm about, I'm, we're going to head out there. So I'm going to show you all that real quick. My bucket, this one is empty. I'm going to fill it up once I get there. And then um, I got my water tank. So I didn't fill it all the way up. I don't need to fill it all the way up. Like I said, this, I ain't even going to use all that water. My blower for the tire, for the um, bugs and tires. And then I have my pressure washer, what you call it right here um uh, vacuum over there in the back seat i have a water bucket up front back here i have my air compressor generator the thing for the bucket i have my extension card all the chemicals i'm gonna be using right here and i even have my i have my water pump back here and the pressure washer is on the other side spray wax and everything ready to go so we go ahead and close everything up and get going Let's get a hot, cold start, because in Texas, it's like 100 degrees every damn day. Not bad at all. Like I said, I'm doing a mini interior, which really ain't going to take me that long. Um, blow it out, vacuum it up, put an interior dressing, and we'll be finished. Vacuum up this little bit of stuff. Kind of wipe down everything and then we'll start on the outside the video is really about the outside so i got all my stuff right here generator acupressor extension card all my tools i'm gonna bring this further over here this is all my chemicals towels drying towel uh spray wax all that stuff is inside there um and then we're gonna see how all this work i don't know how it's gonna work but hopefully it works pretty good all right so finish with the interior just got to do the um windows cars like this you tend to appreciate as a detailer because they're not that bad just need to vacuum up a little bit um and look it is 2 30 i did all that in 30 minutes so all I gotta do is the windows. Well, I can say that for last, um, the windows. And then, so honestly right now, I can start doing the uh, the exterior, but I just need to vacuum up this little crumb, a little, little crumb on that side, and then I can start doing the exterior. All right, so let's start, let's see how the water, I have no clue if this is gonna work. So, water's on. Now we're leaking. That's good. The good thing about this this um, water pump 
is you can also put a battery on it so you don't have to plug it in that's a good thing about it all right i got the battery in there you have to un this the, the thing for the plug right here you have to unplug that so batteries in there everything's tightened up ready to go And we pumping. Let's go check for leaks. No leaks. We pumping inside here. You can hear it. Yep. We pumping. Uh, pressure washer connected to the generator. So finish with it. Took me longer to do the damn brakes than anything. But everything is good. The inside is good. No jams. Now all I gotta do is pack up. See, packing up is going to be the thing. So I got to put everything back. Not even really going to do it neatly. Like just going to kind of throw it in there. Empty the buckets out. Throw the buckets out on the street. And just like I say, to let the air out of this thing, make sure it don't squirt in my car. And put everything back on the side and we're good. Good to go. So, so I'm, I'm already, uh, I'm already unhooking everything putting everything in my garage taking it out the car uh because i actually tow truck is coming to pick this thing up to go bring it to the transmission shop um should be here any minute taking this apart draining all the water out of this one out of the tank it wasn't much i only took like 20 gallons or so and so i'm about to see how much it is i'm gonna put it up on the screen how much it is like using 10 gallons of water like how much does that actually cost per car um but yeah simple setup now if you have a gas pressure washer is going to be a little different obviously so i mean if i had my gas on i would have to put it somewhere in the seat in the inside the car having i personally think having a water pump and a pressure washer a small pressure washer setup uh, electric pressure washer setup is the best at the moment so um in my opinion it's the best to do if you have a generator that could power everything like i said on mines you can put a battery back here. I don't have the most powerful battery to keep this thing going for hours. But if I wanted to, I can charge up the battery and turn it off and on when I'm not turning it off, when I'm not using it, turn it back on when I need it. I could do that, but I don't do it. Uh, but it did last for me to wash the whole car. It stopped working, I want to say, when I got to the top, the rim. So about 30, 40 minutes in, it, start, it, it started to die. Well, actually, like, I want to say it lasts about an hour and a half, maybe. So, so the good thing about my van is that the van kept me, like, really organized. Everything was in there. Everything was in, in its place. And it, like I said, it kept me organized and it kept me to where I didn't have to um, put stuff in the garage. But now I got to put everything in the garage. I got to take um what i want out of the van just to be safe so there's a lot of stuff that i got that i haven't even shown there's a lot of whew, different videos i've been wanting to make but i just ain't had the chance but as soon as i get the van back and start putting everything everything in then i'm gonna make that video with everything that i have inside the van for now but one of the biggest differences is i have a 50 foot hose inside the van now but if the car wasn't lowered and it was on stock height, stock tires, all that stuff on the 19s, it'd be perfectly fine with that water tank in the back of it. The water tank is not that much. It can, it, honestly, it can handle it, to be honest. 
being that it has the if it's the v6 version maybe but it's the v8 version it should be able to handle it um now i am gonna leave a little bit of stuff not the important stuff inside of the van because i'm gonna leave some stuff in there so i can randomly pop up during the week and it doesn't make it as weird when i pop up to check up on my van the place that i'm, that I'm dropping it off at they're claiming um by the time y'all see this video i should have the van back but they're claiming five to five to six days the van should be done so i'm dropping it off at the end at the beginning of the week the van should be done by the end of the the end of the week really i'm dropping it off on monday they said it should be done friday saturday but it but that'll be it for this video y'all if you have any questions uh just let me know maybe i should just do a video of all the equipment like this while it's in the garage i gotta put it put it here neatly and i'm making me some more drugs right here but if you have any questions i yeah, i guess just let me know uh remember i'm starting to do, I, i'm eh, i'm starting to do uh consultations so i'm probably gonna charge around 50 dollars an hour right now so if y'all want to do that um for anybody who wants to get on the phone meet in person or whatever to learn more about the uh, detailing stuff so if you want to know how to generate customers you want to know what equipment you need you want to know what uh advice on chemicals you anything pretty much you got one hour to ask me whatever you want to ask me and um you know if i can't answer it if i can't describe it on the phone or whatever i'll send you pictures on all that stuff but uh fifty dollars an hour um for your consultation for anybody because obviously y'all like i know what i'm doing i know how to do this stuff i'm getting to i'm getting up there and i've done a whole lot more i i feel like i've done more than what people have done in their first year of actually honestly i've only been doing this four times for like six months and i've trust me i've gotten pretty far so let me continue to get the rest of the stuff get it out of the sun that'd be it for this video i'll see y'all in the next video thank you for watching i hope you have i had a good day